and welcome back to my channel server again my name is dr lock and singh and today we are going to discuss about uh, some interview questions for beginners we are going to cover these three topics today like ec2 ebs and s3 they are the question for beginners only so if you are looking for a career into cloud in environment and you are beginning with it then these questions are going to be for you okay so how do you create ec2 instances so guys the complete process would be you will log into your aws account you will go to ec2 dashboard then after you will select ami you will select instance type you will define the like uh, vpc that what vpc we are going to select and all so this is going to be complete procedure of your ec2 creation if you want to see the practical then another videos are available on internet you can see the like aws ec2 playlist and uh, over there you will get end to end integration of it end to end uh, description and the practical section of it then after what is ami so guys ami stands for amazon machine image this machine this machine image is used in order to provision any ec2 machine there could be another question can we create ec2 machine without ami so the answer here is no we cannot create an ec2 machine without selecting an ami because ami includes softwares and the operating system and server configurations which are already available within that image okay then how to choose right ami for creating instances so guys that will be depending only on the requirement of your organization for example if you guys are going to register with red hat so you can go with the register like rhel red hat enterprise linux otherwise if you want to go for open source operating system so you can go with ubuntu or maybe with centos because you do not get like uh, any support from ubuntu or uh, for red hat obviously communities are available who are helping in order to solve your queries but if you want to have like uh, any an expert who is ready to support you on call on email so in that particular case you will have to go with rhel like red hat ami right and not only that ami after that you will have to you will have to register yourself your server with red hat so in that case you are going to get your support from aws sorry your support from red hat okay how to secure ec2 machine so for securing ec2 machine we have to ensure that we have implemented security group with a proper manner only required ports for required sources should be allowed we should not open any any rule for ec2 machine otherwise there are good enough chances that your account can get hacked right how to take automated backups so guys there is a particular option available in aws which is known as life cycle so if you go to life cycle so you can select whether you want to take in a snapshot of your complete ec2 machine or you want to exclude your root volume so these sort of options are available with aws life cycle manager right so aws life cycle managers help you to take automated backup and moreover you can define your life cycle policy for example if you want to remove all the backups which are older than 10 all older than 10 days so those backups will be removed automatically for you doing this you will be able to save your cost next question is how to migrate your instance from one region to another and one account to another so guys when we talk about like migration so in that particular case first of all you will have to create ami of your instance and then after you can copy that ami from one region to another and uh, your migration will be completed moreover it could also be possible that rather than copying that particular uh, in that particular ami what you can do you can create a snapshot and you can copy the snapshot as well and after copying a snapshot you can create an ami out of that snapshot after copying it to your targeted region so that is how you can copy your uh, instance from one region to another and uh, you can you can migrate your server okay next question here is how can you recover keys of an ec2 instance so guys when we talk about recover so there is no such way that we can recover the keys let us say you have a key pair for logging into your ec2 machine once if it is lost it will not be recovered what you can do here is you can just replace your keys after uh, like shutting down your instance if you want to see the practical then i have already created couple of videos for this particular topic you can search for the aws ec2 instance playlist on channel okay 
if everything seems okay but still you are not able to log into ec2 machine how will you check it so guys that will be depending on the particular uh, like error which you are getting at the time of logging in it could be possible that you have not modified the permission of your file that uh, pam file which you have downloaded so if that is uh, world readable obviously you will not be able to log in then after it could also be a reason that you are trying to log into machine and the username is not right maybe you have copied a same example command from aws console and over there root is defined wherein the machine is supposed to be logged in with ec2 user maybe with ubuntu centos or maybe admin user so these are the particular things which we need to check then how do you how do you choose right type of ec2 machine so guys this particular thing will be depending on your workload if it is for testing purpose you can test with your t2 micro t3 micro or maybe with any other machine type but let us say if you want to have like uh, the ratio of compute power you want to have 1 upon 2 then you can go with the c type of instances c4 c5 c6 instance types are available if you want to have 1 upon 4 then you can go with memory optimized right 1 upon 4 ratio will be there like m4 m5 m6 if you want to have like 1 upon 8 ratio, ratio then you can go with r series type of instances now let's talk about ebs volumes so how many types of ebs volumes are there so guys there are uh, multiple type of volumes available as of today like we have gp2 gp3 io1 io2 we have cold hdd we have throughput optimized and we have magnetic so there are overall seven type of volumes available within aws which you can use for your uh, requirement how to take backup of a volume so guys we can create a snapshot in order to take backup of a volume and the particular uh, stuff which we were talking about here automated backups lifecycle manager that can be used here to take automated backup of your volumes as well can i associate one ebs with more than one instance is no one volume will be associated with one ec2 machine only okay what are the conditions if we need to mount ebs to in an instance so guys when we talk about ebs volume so ebs volume should be created in the same reason where you want to mount uh, where you want to mount that particular volume with ec2 machine and not only reason even the subnet has to be same so one volume which is created in one subnet and uh, cannot be mounted with a machine with an instance which is running in another subnet okay what is maximum size of ebs volume so as, as of the as of now it is 16 terabyte you can create up to 16 terabyte of ebs volume where are ebs snapshots stored so guys ebs snapshots are stored in s3 bucket by default you do not need to select any reason or uh, any other option just yes, create a snapshot and you will be charged based on s3 volume price s3 uh, yes s3 data price that will be charged so ebs volumes are stored in s3 bucket okay now what is s3 bucket so guys s3 is a object storage object level storage bucket you can store your data there how to host how to host how to host a website with s3 so guys once you create s3 bucket there is a particular option to host a website within it you will check that option and that will be available i have already created couple of videos for this particular you can check like uh, aws s3 end to end that is available on channel you can go through it okay what is the use of multi part upload so guys multi part upload is used in that particular case for example you are trying to upload a file of maybe 10 gb if your network speed is slow and that is, that is taking some time so what happens if your upload is broken in between your connection got broken and your uh, upload is stopped due to any reason so when you will try to upload it again so obviously you will have to uh, like start uploading from zero but in case of multi-part upload aws will try to resume the upload but there is obviously some certain amount of time maybe maximum it is seven days so within seven days if you try to re-upload the same file then and you have applied multi-part upload option then that particular file will will be resumed from the particular point where it got broken okay how many s3 buckets can you create in your in your account so guys by default you can create 100 a 100 s3 buckets in your account if you want to create beyond that then definitely you will be allowed but for that you will have to raise a request to aws in order to increase number of buckets in your account 
okay uh, what is default size of s3 bucket so it is 256 terabyte so guys these are some of the interview questions which you should know thank you so very much for watching this have a good time and happy learning if you have any other question related to ec2 s3 or any aws service then please do write in comment box i shall be happy to help you on that thank you